Miss Tara here, and we have got two more really great books for you today, and they have something in common. So let's look at the first one. Our first one is Mouth Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Hmm. Let's see if we can think about something that is going to connect it to our second book today. If you give a mouse a cookie. Now, what do both of these books have in common today? Hmm, I see a cookie. I wonder if they have cookies in them. Hmm. Well, let's look at the main character. Who's the main character of both of our stories? You're right, it's mice. We have, if you give a mouse a cookie, and we have mouse paint. They both have mice in them. All right, isn't that exciting? Are you ready for our first book? Our first book is Mouse Paint. Here we go. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. One, two, three. The cat couldn't find them. That's a good thing, isn't it? One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They thought it was mouse paint, and they climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. Those puddles look like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, do you know what color red and yellow make if you mix them together? Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle his feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, do you know what blue and yellow make? Hmm. Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. The blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until, I wonder what color blue and red make. Hmm. Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff, so they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. C-A-T. Where did they take a bath? At cat. In the cat's bowl. That's not a very good idea, is it? and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, one part yellow, what was our last color? And one part blue. Then they mixed red and yellow to make an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part. Oh goodness, my book is getting crazy. And blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat, because they had to hide. All right. All right. We have been learning about our color songs and story time at the library. So we have red, yellow, and blue. So should we sing the red song today? R-E-D, red? Oh, Casper's ready to read the red song. He's ready to sing it with us. Are you ready? R E D red, R E D red. I can spell red, I can spell red. Fire trucks are red, stop signs are red too. R E D, R E D. Oh, what other color song should we sing? How about B L U E spells blue, B L U E spells blue. Hi ho, did you know B L U E spells blue? The big sky is blue, the ocean is too. Hi-ho, did you know B-L-U-E spells blue? Faster! B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know B-L-U-E spells blue? The big sky is blue. The ocean is too. 
Hi ho, did you know BLUA spelled blue? What's our last one? Y E L L O W spells yellow. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day is just begun. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Daffodils and baby ducks are yellow. Lemonade and scrambled eggs are yellow. I like the smiley face, it's yellow. He is such a happy fellow. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Good job. Do you know that you can find these color song videos on YouTube? If you and your parents want to Google Frog Street Press color songs, you should be able to find them right there on YouTube and on the internet. Frog Street Press color songs. Our last book today is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Mm. I wonder what happens if we give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror and make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask you for a pair of scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up and he'll start sweeping. He might even get carried away and sweep the entire house. He can do that at my house anytime. What do you think? He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited that he'll want to draw some of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Brown, orange, gray, yellow, blue. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need some scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back and look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him oh, he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what's going to happen? He's going to want a cookie to go with it. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our super size book story time today, our mouse story time. I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you when the library opens back up again. Make sure to practice your color songs so you're all ready to go when we have story time again. But until then, stay safe and healthy. And for me and my Casper, <laughs> say bye, Casper. Bye. Air hugs. <laughs>